BBC One HD. Yeah, do that. Here he comes. Are you oh, yeah. Awesome, I want to see that. It's too slippery in this weather. Oh, it's too slippery. Oh, it's recording. Yes. Oh, it's recording. You're recording. You're recording, Matt. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, Hello, welcome to Kamiya Jesus number 51. I hope you like the 50th special. Here's a, a new clip. Hopefully, we'll be getting a new title startup soon. Um, getting working on that um, probably next month. Uh, just a new title startup. Um, at the moment, it's still the same. We've just not had time to change it, but there will be a new one and hopefully, it will be a little bit quicker and more brief. Here, we start off with bike, uh, uh, the video number one Dutch bicycle cam. Um, saying hello to friendly uh, road users, or being friendly to other road users, which is nice. Um, it's nice to go around and, you know, say hello to people on the road. I mean, I think um, the, the saying that like, uh, cars can make you feel like you're, like, cocooned from society when you're driving. And not every and I'm not saying everybody's like that, but uh, it's nice when you go around and, you know, you still, you can chat to each other even on the road, you know. Um, here, there's another clip from Dutch Bicycle Cam, waiting behind ro other uh, road users. We're waiting in traffic and uh, not going to the front. Um, I think uh, sometimes it can be good to wait at the back because it uh, saves people from having, you know, having to pass you, which means that, you know, in some ways you're going to be safer. In a lot of ways, it also saves a lot of, of uh, frustration or um, time for other people to waiting to pass you. But I mean, it's a, you know, I mean, it's some, sometimes it's good to go to the front, but I would say it's sometimes it's also good to wait behind um, on a bike. Here's what we got a video from Cycle Lap 70, and I believe this is from Australia. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's West Australia. Um, here we got a clip from him. A uh, good driver helps him pull out on this uh, dual carriageway or a uh, highway. If you're uh, American, you, some people call it, might call it highway, but yeah, he lets him out. And it's a very hard place to pull up. It's, I mean, it's a high-speed road. It's a really big road. Really, bu it looks pretty busy as well. And being on a bicycle, I'd, I'd pro it'd probably be a bit nervous going across that thing. My goodness, um, I, I can't stand dual carriageways on a bicycle. But uh, thank you for cycle ups for the uh, share. Here was a video clip from Lazy Cackle. Just an old clip. Um, just being aware of blind spots. Thank you, Lazy Cackle, for the share as well. Number four. Number four, we got an, um, a memorable video from KMCYC. This was in our last video, as you might remember, from uh, the 50, 50th anniversary video. And uh, we just decided to replay this one, um, if it's alright. I, re I really like this video. This video is really, I think it's a really good one. Um, this pedestrian here, he's crossing, and he can't make it across in time for the lights and here's a KMCYC he signals the cars behind him that the uh, guy ahead is um, crossing the road here yeah, I just fast forward it up a bit um, but uh, yeah I mean he can't he couldn't make it across on the green light and I thought it was really good that everybody waited and even the van driver on the, uh, on the other side of the road he waited until he got across safely which is good because if he fall, I mean if he, if he was to fall over you know if you were going you wouldn't be able to stop in time so Good job on that one, thank you for the chair KMCYC, and good job on that van driver. Here I uh, got a video um, from uh, one of my bike cam videos, um, 
and up ahead a large truck, he's uh, trying to pull out and he couldn't make the turns and he was blocking the traffic a bit so he tried to reverse it to get the uh, road uh, all cleared up. So uh, that was, I thought that was pretty good, thank you very much. What are your comments big fella? Come on, tell me, tell me. Oh, the whole car kind of driving, I think it's quite excellent actually. Do you drive very fast? Uh, well, I drive the speed limit if that's what you're asking. Yeah, James would have been better at that. I'd have done a burnout. <laughs> I mean, yeah. What are your comments, big fella? Come on, tell me, tell me. Yeah, that's what I call a victory. What are your comments, big fella? Come on, tell me, tell me. Crocky, mate. This bloody crocodile came straight out in front of me. And anyone thinks that we've been drinking hard enough. He just went straight out in front of me. Call me. Well, Mr. James, you, it's a bit late for crocodiles. We're back in England, not Australia. Um, here we got video clip number seven. Here I'm going around this roundabout, and a good driver behind me he gives me some space to uh, clear the roundabout and onto the uh, slip road or the exit ramp or whatever you like to call it. Um, so thank you very much. Um, as you notice, I did have the wrong indicator on. Um, something's uh, on the left indicator. It's being a little bit dodgy sometimes. I'm not sure why. Maybe it could be the rain. Um, it, was, it did rain the other day, and sometimes it can affect my indicators. I see that you helped one of these car drivers for all this road. Just wanted to ask what you think, uh, Mr. America. Well, the thing is, I got such a fat bastard, man. The car's so slow with him on board. I just thought I couldn't pull out in time, you see. So I just thought I'd wait for the old deer to go down. She was three miles down the road, but I still have to wait because it takes ten years to pull out of this car. Well, I got a tiny lead of VA, but still, these fat bastards slow him right down. Thank I you really don't know. Thank you very much. What are your comments, big fella? Do what tell me, tell me. They are think maximum power is the answer. Give way to people if you're in a good mood, but otherwise power and it's your right of way. And um, don't be an idiot, but just make sure you put your foot down when you have the opportunity. Definitely, totally agree with that, mate. Totally agree with that. Thank you very much, James Here. Yes, James you thank you very much. Um, here we got num video clip number 10. Here this driver, he's uh, kind of blocking the cycle lane. And I do like this uh, clip here because he, uh, he unblocks the cycle lane, he can't go anywhere. So he, uh, he clears the cycle lane. I thought that was pretty good. Um, so good job on that one. Thank you very much. Um, I thought that was really good of him. Um, correction and mistake corrections. Um, I think um, that is something that, you know, you should kind of do, you know, if you make a mistake, you know, just like apologize or see if you can correct it, which is a good. Here we got some bonus clips. Um, here's one of the canals in so Birmingham. This is something you don't see every day. Um, a river bridge that goes over. Here's the river. If you look down here, that's the road. Um, very nice, the canals. This canal was pretty good. Uh, it went over an, a road in Birmingham. Here, uh, I don't know what about this one. It is a camera cyclist, I'm assuming. And watch this cyclist here on the right. I'll play in slow motion twice. Here, look on his helmet on the very right, uh, on his left, on the left side of his helmet. There looks like what seems to be a camera. I'm not sure if he's a camera cyclist. It might be a light. I could be wrong. It could be a headlight. But it didn't look like a headlight. It was very, it was like a square shape. It was very small, like one of those really teeny little cameras that you can get on your helmet. Um, uh, the last clip that you just watched was uh, Choppers. Um, this one is Friends, just an old clip again. Um, just I wanted to add that in there. Well, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching Kind Radio Users 51. I hope you enjoyed, and the next one should be on hopefully relatively soon. Bye for now. The window. Look at that magic. It's magic. <laughs> Thumbs up, and everybody's like looking at me. <laughs> Do you want to give me one more go? Uh, is it recording? Yeah, it's still recording. Do you want me to stop it and do another one? Howdy ho! BBC One. BBC One. HD. No, that won't be good. BBC. No!
so I'm tasty. Jack cable in. You need to. Well, you don't even have to put jack cable. The USB yeah. cable, and then transfer the audio through. You know, your dodgy audio. Are you recording, man? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you keep like holding things up to the telly. BBC One and yeah. do it. BBC One. Yeah. <laughs> BBC One HD. BBC One. BBC One HD. BBC World America. It's um, it's the channel over there, isn't it? ABC News. <laughs>